Hello, this is Christopher DeLay. I'm, this is my first video in a new series I'm starting. We'll see how, uh, how well it turns out. So basically I came with the idea to, idea to do like a video series like on, you know, quick tips related to PKI. I thought it would be helpful for me because there's times I really want to put out a video, but there, but I may not have a lot of time to work on it. So if I come up with some of these smaller ideas for a video, then I can put these out relatively quick quickly because obviously it takes less time to create the video and render it and all that sort of things. So the first video in this series is going to be filtering and viewing issued certificates. So basically there may be times where you want to issue, view the certificates that you've issued from a CA. Um, maybe you're finding a certificate, trying to find a certificate to revoke. Maybe you're migrating to a new operating system and you well, new, let's see, the new operating system would be a good example, but let's say you were migrating to a new PKI and you need to filter through the issued certs to see what certs are like manually enrolled and who needs to enroll for those certs. So those are just two examples, uh, but there are other reasons why you may want to go through and kind of look at the certificates that you've issued. So we're going to cover two ways to do that. If you uh, want to view more of my content, obviously I have other videos at this channel and you can also view my blog at https colon slash slash xdot 509.blog so we're going to go here into my ca which i'm logged into already so here's my ca so the first way to kind of view the database is to and view and filter it is you can go into issued certificates so if you have a large, if you're like a normal, um, you know, decent, fairly sized, decent, organi a fairly sized organization, you're going to have a bunch of different um, certificates that you've issued. And if you have a really large database, getting around in this MMC is a little bit painful. So in terms of uh, going through and actually filtering on items in this uh, in this view, you can uh, there's you, you can go and click into uh, view and then filter. So something to know about the filter we're about to do. So the, there's a different kind of method that you have to use depending on what you're looking for. So there are like built-in templates in Windows, like the web server would be an example. There are version one and version two templates that come when you come as part of the CA when you install, you know, ADCS. And then there are also the templates you duplicate. Now, so a template can be known by its name. It has one name, it has like a kind of a display name, and then like a template name, that's the name that's used for it when it's stored in Active Directory. And there is also an OID or OID that's associated with that template. So you can reference a template either way by the OID or by the name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at both types of templates here. So ones that came with um, Active Directory Certificate Services and ones that you created by duplicating a template. So again, we're going to go and we're going to first we're going to kind of filter on this web server one. So we're going to try to see all the web server uh, certificates that I've issued. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to view filter, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my filter. And so I'm going to select uh, uh, certificate template. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of different um, fields that you can you know, filter on. So um, there's other stuff you can go through here and look at and maybe get a maybe a better filter uh, to filter like on specific certs issued by certain users or within a certain time frame. So I'm going to go to certificate template and there's a Boolean operator. I'm going to choose equal and then I'm looking for not the display name, but the, the AD name. And so do I, what do I mean by that? So we're pulling up the certificate templates MMC. So if we look at my web server one as an example, see here's kind of a display name. It's web space server. It's also known as the template display name. And then there's the template name. And this is with, usually without any spaces. So really I'm going to be searching for the template name when I go to do my search. So I'm just going to put in web server, all one word. And then just click OK, and then click OK to apply my filter. 
So now I've narrowed it down to all my web server certs. So you can do that for any of the built-in templates just using the template name. So the next scenario that we want to look at is we want to look at what if we've created our own template. So when you're, you create your own template, for example, like this RDP one, what I can do is I can go, I'm, uh, I'm usually not going to be able to filter on the, 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 aid, the um, template name, I don't believe. But you know, let's kind of verify whether to see that works or not. If memory serves me correctly, you're not able to do that. So this one's just called RDP, and its template name is RDP. So we'll see if we can filter on that. So I'm going to go into Issued Certificates, View, Filter, and I'm going to remove this because you can't edit like one that's already there. You have to add a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and add my certificate template name. And I'm going to put RDP, and we're going to see if this works. Let's see how good my memory is. So I'm going to click OK. And see, I don't get anything, which is kind of what I kind of figured was going to happen. So what I can do is I can either, or I can either look at a certificate that I've already issued, or I could actually look at the template in the certificate templates in MC. So I'm going to go to my RDP template. And what I'm going to want to get is the OID or OID, however you want to refer to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into extensions, certificate template information, and here's my OID. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that out. So now I'm going to go back to the CA console. I'm going to do a new filter. So I'm going to click my filter and I'm going to remove this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this one. So I'm going to put certificate template as my field, operation equals to, and then value, and put my OID in here. Click OK, and then OK. Now see, now I filtered on uh, templates. That I, I basically filtered on a custom template that I created by duplicating a template. So you can, depend on what type of template you're working with, there's different ways that you're going to go in and filter that. So kind of reiterating, the one issue with the certificate management MMC is that when you have a lot of certificates, it's really hard to get around. So there is that filtering mechanism that we just looked at. And then obviously I can sort and reverse sort by all these fields. But if you're having difficulty kind of narrowing down on exactly what you're trying to do, so what you can do is you can go ahead. Well, first we'll get rid of clear our filter. Okay, so all records. So what you can do, and you may find this laughable that this is actually a way that I recommend to do this a lot of time. So basically I'm going to go into issued certs and I'm going to do export list. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to my documents. I'm just going to call it certificates. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to CSV and then I go ahead and save it. So now I have that certificates folder, um, certificates file, CSV file. So um, on this CA I installed Excel and normally you wouldn't want to install Excel on your CA. I just installed it here because it makes it easier for me to do this demo. So now we can open certificates up in Excel. wait for this to open okay so here we are so it's not recommend that I save another format so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna save it in Excel format so I'm gonna change that to Excel workbook and then I'm gonna save that Okay, so I have all the fields that I saw in my my view in the um, certificates certificate certificate services MMC, and so I can view all this. But now that I'm in Excel, I have a lot more power. Obviously, I can search on things if I want to. That's obviously something I can do. Or a lot of times, what's really helpful is you can go through here, and basically, if you select like the first row here you can then go to sort and filter and then click on filter 
So now I can filter on these fields. This becomes especially helpful, like if there's a certain certificate template I want to view, right? So I can um, expand this a little bit further. So now let's say I just wanted to see my web server template. So if I just want to see my web server template, uh, the certificates that I've issued from that template, I can do there and click OK. And so now I can see them here. So let me go ahead and clear that. So I'm going to go in here into template and then select all and then OK. And then obviously, like I did the other example with the RDP one, so obviously I could do the same thing in here. Just unselect all these and go to my RDP. This is not it. This is it right here and click OK. And now I just see my RDP template. So there's two different ways you can view certificates you've issued. So one is using the certification authority MMC. And that's the one if you're going to, if you're looking to revoke a certificate, um, that's typically where you're going to look for it. Obviously you could pull it into Excel and do it that way. If you're having some issues managing things in the, uh, in the tool and then you can always get the uh, request ID from the cert you're trying to revoke as an example and then go find that in the database. Like I said the main way that I usually see this used is like let's say you have a you have a SHA-1 PKI and you're looking to implement a SHA-2 PKI in parallel you're going to want to go through those those uh, issued certificates and see which ones are kind of like web server type templates like manually issued certificates so you can go through and identify those certificates and then maybe by the um, you know the requester or the common name you can figure out what system that is and then you can find out who you can go through your own internal um, information and see if you can find the system admin for that system and then contact that system admin and tell them that they're going to need to renew their certificate with a new um, CA once you get that deployed. So that's it for this one. I'm going to keep these types of videos uh, definitely short so that I can put out more content. And uh, if you have any ideas for whether any long, any long form or short form videos I could do, you can put um, a comment underneath this video. Or you can also reach out to me. I have a contact page on my blog, which once again is https colon slash slash xdot509.blog. And the one thing I've only just started doing recently is I have started, there's um, a, a PKI subreddit, and yeah, there's a PKI subreddit. So I, I check, go to check that occasionally and see if there's any questions that I can assist with. So if you post a question there, I might get to it there. So once again, thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope the audio turned out okay because my, my microphone broke and so I'm just using the built-in mic on my laptop. So I have another mic on the way, but uh, hopefully this works out until I get that. So thank you and uh, have a good day.